We are live in the Chicago Wholesale Deals Facebook group. Hope you guys are doing well. So the just making sure my audio is on. So um, we're gonna get started here today. We're gonna be talking about how to use um technology, how we're using new technology today to find deals easier and easier. Uh, just basically going to go over some new stuff that we're using now. Um. And maybe you guys can use it too to help you out. So my goal in these trainings are to um, help you uh, close deals in return. Hopefully we can partner on a deal. And uh, we're live every Monday now, 5 p.m. Central. Uh, if you go in the Facebook group, Best Chicago Wholesale Deals Live, uh, there's over 100 and maybe 60 now training videos on how to how to flip cash flow houses without your own cash, without credit, without getting any debt. So check that out. Um, and we're always looking for deals. We're always buying deals. So if you, you have any deals you want to send us, you can send us your deals. Um, this is my email, russell at bestchicagowholesaledeal.com. <clears throat> we're actually um, actively in seven different states. So you can send us your deal. Uh, we'll, we'll look anywhere now, but we're, we're, at, we're in Florida, the Carolinas, Indiana, Wisconsin, Illinois, St. Louis area. And then we do Texas as well. So send me your deals. If you have any deals that you're looking to uh, sell, maybe you own the property, uh, maybe you have it under contract, we can take a look at it. Um, and if you're in the Chicago market, we still do uh, quite a few wholesale deals in Chicago. Go to bestchicagowholesaledeal.com forward slash buyers. And you can add yourself to our buyers list there, right? So today we're talking about how uh, using new technology today in 2024 to find deals, how we find sellers, how we can find sellers very quickly and easily and fast and a limited amount of them, how we can contact a limited amount of sellers quickly, how we analyze deals quickly, how we make offers quickly, how we follow up with click of a button. Uh, today we have over 20 deals under contract in uh Actually, right now, currently in five different states, but we're actively marketing in seven. Uh, but we have deals under contract in Carolina, in Indiana, in Wisconsin, in the Chicago area, in Florida. Um, we also have unlimited uh, funds to double close, hotel, fix and flip deals with our partners. So that's just something that we added to is that we're, uh, we, we will be uh, able to take down the property with our partners and then hotel it or resell it or even do maybe a little bit of the rehab work, the fix and flip, rehab, rehab it, fix and flip, and put it back on our market. Uh, so we're going to talk about today, just go over the technology, the whole, uh, you know, what we're doing here, a lot of new stuff, new stuff in the pipeline, right? So let me uh, get into that. Uh, so what we're using is... Um, I should have been longer than this already. So what we're using is Deal Machine. Deal Machine is uh, with our partners. So we have basically unlimited uh, skip trace leads nationwide, which is pretty awesome. So uh, for example, you can go anywhere. We just got a deal in Chesney, South Carolina with one of our partners, Aaron. So we can go to any, basically any city nationwide. And then we can go to, you know, if you want it more distressed list, you probably want to start with like people, people maybe, you know, behind on their taxes. So you can see there's 375 right here. So if I click on it, you can see I have the owner's uh, phone number right now. So this guy's 100% equity. He owns the property. You can see that there's uh, no mortgage. The equity was 500,000 equity. He's behind on his taxes. So we can call him, text him, email him. Uh, we have his emails. We have his phone number. So this is like nationwide. So we're giving access to uh, team members to this platform, and they can you can call as many as basically as many leads as you want, right? And which is awesome. Like there's never a day where you don't have anybody to call because this is uh, there's millions and millions of hundreds of millions of leads in here, right? And also as well with this. Uh, new pl platform we're using it's uh it tells you if there's a mortgage if there is a mortgage and for how much this property has no mortgage but if if someone does have a mortgage it will tell you how much they owe it tell you if they're behind on their mortgage 
Um, this looks like a looks like a vacant lot. That's why it's not showing anything. So this is like a vacant lot, but it will tell you. Maybe we can go to a single family home just to show you more information. So this one also doesn't have a mortgage, but you can see here <clears throat> right away. Um, it tells you the square footage, your built, that is bass, what type of house it is, single family, does it have a basement, is um a lot of other stuff. Uh, is there a garage? Is there a pool? Is there so there's a lot of things, you know, it gives you the pin number, gives you the lot size, it gives you um if they're behind their taxes, how much are their taxes per year? So this guy's behind his taxes, he owes uh twelve hundred per year. And he has no mortgage. So, I mean, this is probably a motivated seller, right? Um, and it does some type of repair estimate, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go by that as well. Uh, if it has an HOA, it'll tell you that as well. Then it will tell you um, estimated value. Um, and then again, you see that the owner's uh, emails, phone numbers, and then you have multiple contacts here. So you see a, a second. And so, so we know this person is uh, behind their taxes. They own the property 100% free and clear. There's no mortgage. And guess what? We have their cell phone numbers and their emails, right? And we have unlimited amount of these types of leads that we can call, text, and email today, right? So it's like... Um, this is a gold mine of uh gold mine of leaves that you can you can pull, you can call, text, email, and uh uh you're just basically looking. What's cool about today's technology is that you're just trying to get someone to raise their hand and see if they're interested in selling. And then um um we have all the data and information in front of us. So really, you know, you, you have all the data, so it's like and you can do a Google, you know, Google drive by here pretty easily and look at the outside, look at the roof, look at, you know, the siding. So it's it's pretty, it's pretty crazy with technology. We, we literally have everything. The only thing we're missing is like, hey, what's the condition of the inside of the property? Right. So um, if you get a homeowner, raise their hand and say, yes, I want to sell. Really, um. All we really need is like, what's the inside of the property look like? Do you have pictures? What's the condition, right? <clears throat> and again, again, what's cool about Deal Machine is that you have, um, uh, you know, you're talking to the homeowner, right? So this is the uh, homeowner here. So you can see, you, you know, who the homeowner is, you know, uh, you're making sure you're talking to the actual homeowner on the property. And then, and then uh, comps. You can easily get uh, comps pretty quickly here as well. So if you go to, uh, usually you do it automatically, but if there's no comps there, it's not going to show up. So usually if there's, uh, the comps are not there, I'll go back a mile and I'll take the square footage off. Yeah. So this one didn't comp because uh, maybe there's not that many comps nearby. So uh, in that situation, you can quickly go to maybe, I already went one mile, so let's go 1.5 miles away and sold in the last six months. So maybe you're going to go back uh, a few months. Maybe you can go back a, a year uh, or more. Uh, you can go back a year on this as well. You can see there's only one comp, but usually you can see there's a lot of comps, it's going to filter right away. You're going to see three, four, five highest sold comps. And then within seconds, you can get the uh, ARV because the comps are right there, um, which are going to be the similar type property, same size, within half mile to a mile away, uh, you know, single family to single family, similar square footage. So uh, it's pretty cool that you can actually get comps in like a second in this uh, system here. And then, and then, um, like I said, you know, if you want to do tax delinquent, you can see all the different types of distress leads, probate. You got intra-family transfer. So it's like when a, when the deeds transfer to another family member, in that case, it's maybe a probate or, or could be a possible one. Zombie properties are 
foreclosures that are vacant, tired landlords, people that own more than 15 years, senior owners, 65 or older, you have uh, foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, you have uh, the probates, which are great. Uh, so if you have a property under contract, maybe you, you're trying to wholesale, you have all the cash buyers, phone numbers and emails, uh, you have vacant homes, so tons of stuff in here. You even have all the MLS active pending, uh, expired listings, out-of-state owners. So you can, uh, I like to start with the, the most distressed, like um, probate, pre-foreclosure, and tax and link would probably be the top distressed ones. And then I would move on to maybe the, the other ones, right? Then you can also sort by uh, multifamily, townhome, condo. Uh, vacant land, if you just want to do vacant land, apartment buildings, if you want to just focus on big apartment buildings, maybe that's what you're looking to buy, right? And uh, you can also sort by equity, equity percentage, you can also sort by properties just free and clear, you can sort, so there's, there's just so much information in here that you can sort by, it's pretty crazy, so <clears throat> Again, check this out. So we got a property under contract in uh, Chesney, South Carolina. It was tax delinquent, so we got it from this list. Basically, just call, you know, call calling the list, texting the list, emailing the list, got the deal under contract. So guess what we did next, right? So the next thing we did, uh, so we had the deal under contract. Now we're trying to uh, sell the deal. So the next thing we did is basically uh, turn around and uh, get all the cash buyers in the same system, the same uh, the same uh, deal machine. So we, we got all the buyers in the same system and got all their cell phones and emails. And now we're, we're emailing them the deal, right? So, so here's the deal we just emailed out in uh, South Carolina to all the buyers in um, South Carolina. So we have our under contract for 50. We're trying to sell for sixty nine thousand. Uh, you see, after rehab value is uh, one ninety eight. So basically, we found the lead from tax delinquent, you know, uh, tax delinquency list because they're behind their taxes. And then now we're emailing, texting, and leaving voicemails to all the buyers in here as well. So all you got to do is, uh, if you take absentee owners and uh, cash buyers here, and then I like to filter. Uh, people that bought recently. So you go to sale history, last uh, sale date. So you're probably going to go back, uh, you can go back a year, you can go back two years. So let's just go back uh, a year here, a uh, year back. And then boom, you have all the investors that bought a house recently in the entire city, right? It's a small town, very small population. So there's only 86 here. But um, uh, these 86 are, are the most likely candidates that are going to buy the property, right? And if I if you um, click on this, check this out. We have the buyer's uh, cell phones and their email. So guess what we're going to do? We're sending the, the deal to the deal we have under contract. So this deal I have under contract we're leaving a text message, we're leaving a voicemail, and we're sending the email to all these buyers that potentially would buy this deal because we have 19,000 in profit that potentially we can, you know, so we're going to text, we're going to email, we're going to call all these buyers, right? And of course, one by one is, uh, you know, a lot of work. So what we use is for technology for doing things quickly or quicker is uh, REI reply. So REI reply, uh, basically, you know, I can download this entire list with all the phone numbers and emails in Deal Machine. I take that list with all the phone numbers into REI reply, and REI reply is going to basically text one by one and uh, call one by one throughout the entire day. And they're going to do it, leave, they're going to leave voicemails, they're going to leave text messages. And they're not going to do like a bulk text because, uh, you know, they don't allow that anymore. But they're going to do one by one where it's actually every like two, three minutes, it will send a text. And then you, you'll get, you'll hit, we'll hit all these 86 buyers that bought and we're going to get the deal 
uh, to them via text. We're going to get the deal to them via voicemail. We're going to get the deal to them uh, via email as well, right? So we have their emails. <clears throat> so that's the technology we're using uh, to get deals. We, we currently have, uh, like I said, 20, uh, 20 deals under contract. Uh, we're closing one tomorrow. We're making $50,000 in profit. Uh, and uh, that's with one of our partners, Sam. So congrats. And then uh, we have a couple deals in uh, Wisconsin. We're potentially Airbnb. We have uh, tons of deals uh, under contract. And that's what you want to do is you want to have lots of deals that you control, that you have under contract. That way, you know, some deals are not going to sell. But if you have 20 under contract, like every week, something should sell, right? Something should close. There should be profit every single week coming in. <clears throat> and um, so we have the leads, we have the phone numbers, we have the emails. And then we also are texting them, calling them, emailing them, leaving them, leaving them messages. Uh, the sellers and buyers, we're doing both. We're doing that with sellers. We're doing that with buyers as well when we're selling our deals. And then let's say that you actually are, you know, calling these people behind their taxes and you get someone to, you know, raise their hand and say, yes, I want an offer on my property, right? Like that's where people, most people, um, you know, are scared and they don't know what to do next, right? So with our team, uh, we have a CRM. So, uh, Anytime a lead comes in and, and wants an offer, um, well, first and foremost, uh, when you're doing when we're doing campaigns, you you can upload. So let's say I am uh, let's say I'm hitting the you know the tax delinquent buyers list here, right? I'm hitting the the tax delinquency buyers. Remove this. So in. Um, And maybe I'll add a pre foreclosure. So let's say there, there's not only 92 in this little town, but let's say you have a list of, you know, a thousand. <clears throat> you can you can download this list into a spreadsheet. You can import that into the CRM. And then when leads call, you can just basically look up the phone number, look up the name, and the lead would will be already in there if you import the spreadsheet, right? Now, um, you can also do it where you just create the lead and then there's a script you follow right and again the awesome thing about having like deal machine is that um you already have all the information you already know what they owe you already know the beds the baths square feet you already know if it has a garage you already know uh if it has a basement you already know pretty much everything the only thing you don't know is like what's on the inside right so um the main thing is like, hey, are you the owner? You want an offer on your property? Yes, yes. Okay, what's the condition, right? If you just get that answered, you pretty much have everything uh, or mostly everything in here completed, right? And I'm going to go to a lead that is um, maybe finished here. So when leads come in, it's a script. You just follow the script. You know, what's your name? Are you the owner? Uh, what's your email, your phone number? Of course, the address of the property. Are you the one that uh, uh, signs, you know, are you the one that makes the decision whether it sells or not? That's important. So you're basically just getting all the data, you know, where the lead come from. And you can pull all this from uh, Deal Machine, right? But the, the thing you want to uh, quickly do to come up, let's say you're on the phone with them, you want to quickly just make the offer right on the phone call. You're just going to get square footage. Hey, what's the square footage? Is there a basement? So you got to get basement square footage and above ground. Um, that depends if, uh, like in Chicago, for example, most rehab properties have a finished basement, and then we add that square footage to the rehab cost. So this is going to calculate rehab costs. And then the next thing is you just need to get to get the offers quickly. Uh, the five different offers is just, hey, what's the condition? Is it, you know, the owner says, hey, it's in great shape. There's nothing needed. You know, you want to maybe ask more questions like, hey, when's the last time it was actually a rehab? He goes, you know, 40 years ago. They may need a cosmetic rehab, even though it's in great shape. Maybe everything's pretty dated. Right. So we're going to go cosmetic. And most times if it's a total gut rehab, the owner will be pretty upfront. They'll just tell you, hey, it's a total gut rehab. Good things to do to get conditioned as well is just ask the owner for pictures. Um, 
do we do zoom walkthrough with the owners as well you can do a zoom walkthrough with them if you can't make it physically to the property you can say hey mr owner can we do a zoom walkthrough with you and just just uh um to get an idea of the condition and everything on the property um <clears throat> if you don't want to go to the property yourself or a lot of times they already have pictures they can send it to you so you're going to base it off you know the pictures based off what the owner is going to tell you and then um last thing is the comps right so <clears throat> like i said in, in uh in deal machine if you just go to well this is like a very small town so let me go to uh property in let me just go to a property in chicago and deal we're doing right now. So, for example, this deals in Chicago. Um, if you click on the lead and you go to comps, the 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 comps you can filter really quickly, right? Like uh, like this property is forty four hundred square feet. <clears throat> That's probably why it's not showing the comps. Because we have this, uh, you put this, you know, anything below this square footage we can use as a comp. And if I take that off, you can see there are at least one, two, three, four, five comps. And typically you want to get like the top three or four highest sold comps. So you see that like right within seconds, I have the, the three or four highest sold comps. Of course, you want to, um, uh, you know, look at them like if in Chicago, especially you know that like a frame house, we don't we don't compare it to a brick house, right? So you want to do like uh, frame the frame in Chicago because bricks are worth a lot more than uh, the frames. But here we can just pull the three highest comps and that took me like just a few seconds, right? And then we're, when we're in the CRM, um, I'm not going to save this because this is probably a live lead, 710, 610. So we're just plugging in the three highest comps that we find here, and then it's going to give us the ARV and the five different offers right away. We put our wholesale fee, what we want to make. Um, market rent, you can just simply get from Zillow. Zillow has a rent estimate. And then once you save this, I'm not going to save it because this is a, like a live lead, but once you save it, um, we just go to email. And then we have our uh, four, we have our offers letter of intent that we can, uh, I don't, that you can uh, present to the owner. And you can see, <clears throat> boom, we have our cash offer. And these are your max offers. So you probably want to start lower. Sandwich rent to own offer. This can also be like a subject to offer, owner financing offer. Uh, the sandwich rent to own offer is there like a deal that, uh, you would stay in the middle because there's cash flow and there's some equity in the in the deal. So that's a good deal, like stay in the middle of where you do like a subject to, you do a, a sandwich rent to own, where you now you can turn around and Airbnb it, rent to own it to somebody else, and you stay in the middle for appreciation and for cash flow, right? And then this lease option assignment is for um, if there's really no equity, there's no cash flow, there's no reason to stay in the middle of the deal because uh, there's no there's no equity in, in any cash flow. You can do an assignment. So this can be a subject to assignment as well. This can be your only profit on this one is a uh, down payment, right? So this can be an owner finance assignment, subject to assignment, creative, you know, owner seller financing, whatever you, you want to call it. You can, you can assign those where if someone's willing, if you get the owner to agree to maybe 5,000 down, and then you go and try to find a buyer for twenty thousand down that takes over the mortgage uh, subject to or wants to do a rent to own or a lease option. Um, they take over the property and then you create that spread in the down payment. So your only profit here is the down payment. But here in the sandwich where you stay in the middle is um, there's cash flow, there's equity, and there's a down payment if you turn around and uh, and rent to own it to someone else. And then the straight option is basically novations offer. They call it novations. I call it straight option listings. Uh, basically, maybe they owe too much or they won't come down on the uh, wholesale uh, to make it work. They won't come down to the, our 
on this this offer is 110 they won't come down maybe they're stuck at like 140 so we just say hey mr seller the 140 does not work because we need to be at 110 that's our highest we can go but what we can do is we can um utilize our network of uh, investors and uh network of realtors that we work with and we could try to get this sold for you um so we, you and at the 140 we'll add our fee on top of that so you don't have to worry about any closing costs you don't have to do any repairs it's sold as is you don't have to worry about any realtor commissions because we'll take care of that when we add our fee um so that's the straight option listing or they call it innovations offer and then partnership on airbnb is uh where we manage the airbnb and then we get about 20% to 25% of total revenue. And basically, it's a way you can cash flow houses without getting into debt, cash flow houses without investing any money. And right now we have um, uh, uh, quite a few that we're, we're working on closing. I think we have like five that agreed. And now we're just waiting for it to be staged, to rehab to be finished, and and for us to get it on Airbnb. And uh, this is a great offer because you can, one property can make you like a thousand bucks a month, right? Then below it is all about how uh, lease options work, how Airbnb offer works, um, all the different offers, basically overcoming all their objections, right? So that's how we're getting the offers fast. So again, all we need is the square footage. All we need is the rehab required. And then all we need is the comps. And then that comes up with the offers, right? So if you've never done a creative offer before or sandwich rent to own or subject to owner financing, guess what? You don't need to learn the formulas. What's cool is it's built in here, right? You don't need to learn how to calculate the rehab cost or anything like that because we have it uh, built in here, right? So that's how we're using technology. We're using um deal machine for all the property data the comping uh we're using it for uh the leads getting lists getting leads we're using we're using uh aria reply for contacting leads texting calling and then we're using the crm for uh, uh analyzing the deal coming up with the offers and also follow up right like we can edit like if if they don't want the the deal we can just hit follow up and save and then it's going to send an email forever uh, to the lead. And as well, you can do this in the uh, CRM as well. So you can, if you just tag a lead and you just hit uh, add new tag and you do like a six month drip. So it's going to follow up with them for like six months. Or you can just type in uh, follow up and it does like a follow up campaign via like texting, texting. And you can, you can actually do voicemail. So texting, voicemail, follow up. And then this is going to do the email follow up. So you 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 just set it and forget it, right? You just do it once, and then it's going to keep going, and following up with them, uh, for forever, right? So that's uh how we're using, uh, technology right now. It's always changing. We're always uh, upgrading. Uh, basically, we're always paying for more technology, more software, always upgrading to get faster and more efficient. Um, and I, I believe one day they're going to create one software where it's going to be like everything combined and we just, we don't have to do anything else. Right. But right now we have three, right. So we're using deal machine, we're using RI apply, we're using our CRM. And another thing with the CRM that we, we use a lot that you, you everyone should have is like a to-do list. Right. So if, so this lead, for example, um, like, like you always want to have the mindset of uh, one day hiring people and outsourcing everything, right? So you should document everything. Like this lead, if I get a contract signed, I'm going to uh, create, um, attach that contract in here, right? And I'm, you can attach pictures or Google links. Um, anytime we talk to the seller or we have our team uh create a, a note in here and what they talked about and what was discussed what was discussed so that anyone can cope, go in the lead and say hey I know we talked last month our, our team talked to you last month about the cash offer you were considering it you told us to call you again next month maybe uh, that tenant moved out to see if you want to move forward right and then you can create follow-ups so create a, you can actually create a task and then 
uh, let's say the owner's on the fence of, for the cash offer, right? So follow up cash offer thinking about, you know, 100K, right? And then I'm going to follow up with him tomorrow, April 30th. And you can put a time you want to follow up with him. And then when, when you do that, you save it and then you can go to your uh, task list. And then you're going to see what I have to do today, right? Like I always have a, a task list. Like you always have like a task list. I need to send offers. So I need to send an offer to this guy here. So if I click on it, it's going to go to the lead. And I'm going to know that I have to send an offer for that lead, right? And that's what I think everyone everyone needs is like a, a to-do list. You log in, you know what you need to do every day, right? If you don't have that, then you're just like, you, you're trying to remember everything you do is impossible, right? Like today I made... Literally, I analyzed and made like, I don't know, 40 offers today, right? And there is no way for me to remember to do that. And I have to follow up with a lot of them because a lot of them are thinking about taking our offer. So I have to create a task to follow up with them, right? So so I know tomorrow when I log in, I have like, you know, 10 people to follow up with to see if they got to see if they want to move forward with the offer, right? And there's no way for you to have a have a business or, or a good business without follow-up follow-up is the key um the more people you have in your follow-up the more people you're following up with the more business you're going to do um i believe um if you don't have a follow-up list you don't have a business right you, if you're not following up with people over and over and over again there's really no business right like if you just make an offer and that's it you forget about it um and you never do any type of follow-up um you're going to you're going to burn yourself out um and you're not gonna have you're not gonna get you're not gonna get the deals like we consistently follow up for years we, we've had deals that like three years later we got the deal made 20 grand right six months later we got the deal and it's just consistent follow-up with every lead that we make offers on so you talk to the lead you made the offer um out of let's say you know you make 30 offers 29 rejected of those 29 people you're following up with them consistently all the time, right? So the keys in the follow-up, and if you can automate the follow-up via text, texting follow-up, voicemail follow-up, you can automate the follow-up via email. Um, that's going to be huge. Um, so another thing that we, 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 we add is that the unlimited funds for doing double closes without any fees. So, you know, if you have a double deal that you need to double close, let's say you have like a, you know, $100,000 profit or 50, usually like if you have like in, in Illinois, like 30 grand or more in profit, you may want to double close that. So the seller doesn't know what you make, the buyer doesn't know what you make, and you just double close it and resell it, right? And then the wholetailing, that's where you actually physically close on it and uh, resell it. Like you'll buy it for 50000 Maybe you'll clean up the yard or clean out all the garbage on the inside, and that's it. You put it back on the market for you know eighty thousand or or uh, or whatever amount, right? And then fix and flip deals. Um, we we we're looking to partner. We have basically low you know low inventory and and uh, not enough deals to fix and flip because we don't have the, the for the to do the fix and flip. We need to be a lot lower than doing a wholesale, doing a wholetail, because it's the most risk, right? So the the fix and flip, you take on the most risk because you're you're now putting a lot of money into the property. You have more holding costs. So uh, we have a ton of capital um, on the sidelines, but we're looking for deals, right? So if you have deals, uh, send it to us. We're looking to uh, either partner with you on those deals or... We can pay you, you know, your, of course, your wholesale fee up front if you just want to do that, right? So if you need more, um, so that's it. So 2024, um, what we're doing now with AI, with uh, technology, um, we also, uh, so Deal Machine, there's also like an AI as well. So I forgot to talk about that. So it has like AI technology where if you need help, right, negotiating with the seller, um analyzing the deal so like for example uh help me negotiate this deal i made the cash offer and the seller is thinking about it the, the more information you give the ai the better it is so it can give you like maybe uh 
a script that you can follow or just talking points that you can negotiate with the seller, right? So you can tell the seller, hey, this is a maximum allowable offer. Um, this is, you know, you can use the repair cost. Uh, you can uh, tell them there's no cash flow in the deal, right? So there's, uh, this is something that's always uh, updating, but th there is an AI, like kind of like a chat GPT in, built in here. So you don't have to go out to uh, Bard, uh, bard.google.com we've been using or Gemini, same thing, they switch a name or chat GPT to, to actually, um, uh, uh, use the AI, so it's built in here, right? So that's pretty cool. You can you can have it. Um, I think so. So send uh, me a text message to send to the seller. We are looking to buy the property. Send me ten different text messages. I can use. So look at that. So let's say that you're in here and you're uh, you maybe you don't have REI reply. REI reply um, is like a third party company. Uh, they charge REI reply and, and and they do the texting campaigns. But um, if you don't have REI reply, you got to do one by one, right? So what's cool is that you know I can just copy paste um, and do that for like 30, 40 minutes a day. And I'm just copying and pasting this to sellers, right? And Deal Machine, I have their phone numbers. I'm just copy pasting the text, and um, and that's what you want to do is you you don't want to use the same text like a robot because you're going to get marked as spam. Your, your Google your Google Voice may be uh, suspended, right? So you want to rotate the messages. So whether you're sending text messages, emails, change the messaging, and this this is something you can just do it really quickly and easily um it can send you a hundred different messages if you want and you just copy paste and then boom you're sending messages quickly easily efficiently so so that's it's just crazy um the technology we have today right like we we have seller leads at our fingertips we have the seller leads at our fingertips with all their phone numbers and with this with this uh deal machine you can actually uh, download an app on your phone so while you're, you know, if you don't have access to your computer, you just download the app and then just start calling people from your cell phone, right? Um, and we we have uh, campaigns, uh, pre-built campaigns with our reply that you can just plug in a list, contact the sellers. We have a CRM that makes the five different offers, the cash offer, the creative offers, uh, whether that's rent, to, whether you do rent to own or whether you're doing like owner financing subject to, um, those offers are built in there, uh, doing novation, straight option offers. Uh, if you're looking to do Airbnb management, that's in there. So it's 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 uh, crazy that at our fingertips within a few within a few minutes, uh, you can have a lead called, you can have a lead text uh, analyzed, you can have five different offers on the lead within like less than a few minutes, right? And you can put them in follow-up by a click of a button. You can put leads into the follow-up and just contact them over and over and over again. And that's the key, I think, is um, the follow-up. Like once you get to like thousand, like in the beginning, you know, it sucks because you don't have a follow-up list. Like you don't have leads that you're following up with. But if you're doing this, if you commit to this and you're doing this for like six months straight, you're making offers every day. Hopefully in six months, you have hundreds of, hundreds and hundreds of people you're following up with, right? And then all of a sudden deals are coming easier and easier and easier every month because your follow your follow-up list gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you're contacting more people every day on autopilot, right? So um sometimes you gotta look at it like that. Like I'm I'm planting the seed today and the more uh, offers I make, the more seeds I plant, the more fruit I'll have in the future. Right. So um you know if you're struggling now, maybe uh, you're struggling now to find deals, find leads, and maybe you're not following up with anybody, right? So, <clears throat> so um, make sure you're following up and uh, and doing it consistently, right? Like, also, how our follow up is 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 um, if someone says I got to think about it, we follow up with him every single day, right? Like if someone if I make a cash offer and they say I got to think about it, every day he's gonna call, text, and email from me following up, right? Um, 
the long term follow up is automated, like the once a month email, the once a month text, the once a month once a month voicemail. It's automated, right? But the the you know if you have if you're going down the list and making the the offers, if someone stops on an offer and they say I got to think about it, I'm not moving to the next offer until I get a get a yes or a no. Right. I, I don't make all the offers at once. I make one at a time. But if they're in between a maybe, they're getting a follow up like every single day for me. A call, a text, an email from me and my team. They're just gonna call, 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 right? So that's it. Um, that's what we're using. Um, lots of different uh changes for the good, right? Like like it just gets more crazier and crazier, and that's why I'm always investing. I'm always Literally, I, I spent maybe 20 grand plus in the last few weeks on uh, upgrading everything, you know, on on uh, purchasing more systems and and uh, getting access to funding and, and getting in the right rooms with the right people, connect, making the right connections with the right people. Right. And I do that for to grow, right, to grow my business, to uh, help other people grow as well. So when I invest 20 grand, I bring it here and I'm like, hey, here's what what's new. Right. And that's always we're always changing, always growing, always getting better. Right. So if you are in need for uh, looking for mentorship and you actually you're looking to get into all these systems that we have today, um, check it out. Um, KingdomRIAcademy.com. Uh, our members are now getting all these systems that I showed you. Um, the REI reply is a it's like a separate system you pay on your own. It's about 100 bucks a month. But the deal machine and the funding and the CRM and as well as websites, uh, which I didn't show, uh, but um, all that is provided, right? So the goal, the basically, basically the goal is to help people go from zero to at least ten grand a month in cash flow in twelve months via um, yes, doing it wholesale deals, doing uh, straight options or what they call innovation deals doing uh, rent to owns or, or owner finance uh, creative deals and picking up cash flowing properties at the same time. So as you're, as you're closing on wholesale deals and maybe you're doing novations, those are transactional, right? You do it one time, you get paid one time, but at the same time, you're talking to those leads and you're picking up a uh, subject to, you're picking up a rent to own, you're picking up an Airbnb. And hopefully within 12 months, you pick up at least 10 or maybe 12 you know, cash flowing properties. We've had students go from zero to 15 in nine months. We've had students go from zero to like 28 in the course of a year, right? So we have unlimited, you know, basically you're going to get unlimited skip trace leads, unlimited funding for your deals and unlimited support. So go to kingdomariacademy.com and check it out. Um, there is like a 90 minute presentation and just know we replaced the uh, prop wire with the uh, deal machine and um, we do now have unlimited funding as well. So before, um, um, you know, that wasn't there, right? So we 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 uh, we made a connection where now we got unlimited funding for rehabs, for hoteling, for double closings, and so now you can make offers with confidence that you you know when you partner with us that you have the funds in your in your back pocket, right? So a lot of people are scared to make offers because. Um, they don't have the funds to close the deal. So now you have a partner that has actual funds that is ready to close deals at any time, as long as we get it at the right numbers, right? So you can make offers now with confidence and and you can say that we are the ones going to close it with our team, right? So if you have any questions, reach out. It's my number, my email. And like I said, I just went to... Um, uh, this big real estate meetup. I met tons of uh, do guys doing tons of deals and just made lots of connections. Right. So it's pretty awesome. And uh, been overwhelmed with like tons of offers because of all the people I met there. So, so uh, this is um, so my, my mentorship program is called Kingdom Art Academy because we, we preach the word of God also with real estate. And the reason we do that is because I believe, um, the foundation of your life should be the word of God, should be the Bible, should be following Jesus over anything. And then real estate should be second, right? And unfortunately, um, me, before before I put money in real estate first before God, 
before following the word of God. And now I, I flip that, right? I follow the word of God first and everything else is second, right? So quickly just get into just a verse here in uh, the book of James, which is um, a book of wisdom from God. If you want, if you want wisdom uh, for your business, for finding great books to get into are uh, book of James in the Bible and the book of Proverbs, which are great books for um, growing, growing personally, growing your business, growing all aspects of your life. So James 4, 6, it says, he gives grace generously as the scriptures say, and God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So God gives grace generously. So it's like, no matter, um, how many mistakes you made in your past, like, you know, like me, I made thousands and thousands of mistakes, um, over and over and over again and God is always there to forgive and always to give grace and compassion right and and forgive you right so no matter no matter what you've done God is always ready to forgive ready to for you to come back home ready for you to repent ready for you to give your life to him no matter what what you've done right or no matter what you're doing now right and another thing is uh don't be proud it says God opposes the proud I used to be proud i used to be always like uh, it's all about me look at me look at all the stuff i'm doing look at my uh new car my new house my new this my new that and that's because of the uh, mentors i surrounded myself with right the people i surround myself with that's what they they showed right and that's what they emulated so you become what you let in your mind let in your eyes let in your brain and you start becoming like those people. So when you have a mentor that's all about money and God, and they basically uh, worship money as their God, and they're all about themselves, they're all about luxury, and they're all about um, uh, uh, themselves, do you start turning into that, right? So I turned into that. I was proud. I had so much pride. I'm always like, you know, I'm the best. Uh, look at me. Look at what I did, right? So the opposite is true. Um, especially for all aspects of your life. You want to have a great relationship, marriage, great relationships with friends. You want to have a great business, be humble. To be humble, you focus, your focus is on God and other people. So the definition of humility is, is basically um, uh, living a life that, that serves other people, that loves other people, right? So, it says God gives grace to the humble. So you want to live a life that is filled with the humility, which is going, which is all about becoming better. Like you're becoming better, not just is is uh, for other people. You're always growing. You're always learning. You're always serving, giving, helping, right? Like I invest twenty grand to grow, and then I give. I give what I like. What I learn, I give it back, right? And that's that's to help other people help other people you're basically um i'm basically always like trying to help the other person i used to be right so the person i used to be i'm trying to bring them up and and help them right so be humble um and and always try to become better better a better person with your health better uh with your mind always growing always learning always looking to serve always looking to give and help others and um and you're if you if you live a life of humility you're going to want to uh, uh help others right and and grow so that's it so that's short today um we're going to end here in prayers so i want to thank god for all his blessings thank god for just all this crazy technology that he's provided us and it's just getting uh more advanced and we just ask for the wisdom and the guidance and the right the right places to go to grow our business, um, not for ourselves, but so that we can uh, earn a living so that we can take care of our family, take care of our friends, take care of our neighbors, take care of our churches, take care of people that are in need, and so that we can be a blessing to everyone around us in Jesus' name. So we'll be live in Kingdom Maria Academy Facebook group, the mem members group. Uh, we'll be live at... Uh, just in about 10 minutes, 10, 10, 10 minutes at six at the, no, yeah, at 6 p.m. Central. So we'll be live in the other group in just 10 minutes. And in the other group, basically, we're just, uh, we go in more depth and more detail on everything. 
uh, we like to break down deals in depth, step by step, and deals that we're closing right now. So God bless. We'll see you guys. Um, and for members, I'll see you guys in the other group in a few minutes.